One of the things that bothers me the most is that women as they're heading into perimenopause and menopause start to get on to Adderall and other ADD medications because they're being diagnosed with ADD when really it's not ADD. Your memory and focus are off because your insulin might be elevated, your cortisol might be elevated or depressed, or you're lacking some of your repair and growth hormones. Things like DHEA, things like estradiol, testosterone, growth hormone. These are things that can be checked in your blood. So hormonal imbalances that can be corrected and checked in your blood versus having to take a medication that is going to push on your adrenal glands and make it harder for your body to manage stress over time. So before you decide that you wanna take an ADD medication, start thinking about could my memory and focus, my can't remember crap thing, be due to elevated insulin? Elevated insulin is when your body is not using insulin effectively to take glucose into your bloodstream. So that glucose sits there and it doesn't get it doesn't get into your cells and it doesn't do what it needs to do to make energy for you. Instead, the glucose sits in your bloodstream and it gets stored as fat. So if you're gaining weight and you're having troubles with memory and focus, you want to start thinking about these things. Now, the other big factor, cortisol. Cortisol is the number one reason why we gain weight, but it's also the number one reason why our brain also tends to have some issues. Why is that? Because if you are stressed out, you have prolonged periods of elevated blood sugar, blood glucose. What happens? Insulin has to play with that. So the more that you have prolonged periods of elevated blood sugar, the more that your body can't figure out when to release insulin and when not to. So we end up having issues of when insulin is released, when it's not, and we end up with the issue called insulin resistance. So this is a problem when insulin is elevated within the body for too long of time. We end up with cognitive decline. You're losing your cell phone. You're losing your keys constantly. You can't focus on anything. If this sounds familiar, get your insulin checked. Next thing, cortisol, like I mentioned before. It's a saliva test. You could do insulin, by the way, via blood. So if you look in your blood at your serum levels of insulin, fasting, of course, this will tell you what is going on in that department. In terms of cortisol, that is saliva before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner, before bed. You can learn about what's going on with those cortisol levels. Then the next one, all of these, DHEA, growth hormone, estrogen, testosterone, and in particular estradiol, those can be done via blood or via Dutch test, your dried urine testing to see where those guys are at. Because if these are all out of balance, of course you're gonna have trouble with memory and focus. And you want a strong mind as you get older? abso freaking lutely you wanna be sharp as a tack. Estradiol is one of the most crucial hormones for keeping that memory sharp and intact over time. And in males, it's testosterone. Females, we need enough estradiol. So if you're giving yourself a medication to keep you sharp and focused, what is going to happen when you start getting into your 70s, 80s, and beyond if you're not keeping that estradiol in check? So you want to look at what is going on with your insulin. You want to look at what's going on in that cortisol. And you want to look at what is going with estradiol because they all directly impact each other. Our body is connected when it comes to hormones and you don't want to be thinking about things singularly. You want to think about the whole picture here. So make sure to have these things checked. You want to look at the insulin. You want to look at the cortisol. You want to look at the repair and growth hormones because your brain repairs every single night. This is a crucial factor for you. So make sure that you know these things before you jump on a medication. If you're looking for more information like this, you can head over to my website at drjkrausnd.com or to my podcast, The Health Fix, and you can get that anywhere you get podcasts. I'm Dr. Janine Krause. Thanks for watching.